How's it going, everyone? So in this video, we are finishing up our intro to network traffic analysis module in HTB Academy. So we are finally at the end and we're gonna complete the last section, uh, decrypting RDP connections um, under the Wireshark section. So that's gonna be it for us here after we complete this. Um, so again, the only thing you need is Wireshark on your, uh, on your machine and you need the uh, resource file. Uh, so the resource file you need is going to be the RDP analysis. So go ahead and download that um, and then open up the Wireshark file in there. So you're going to get two files. You're going to get the Wireshark, the PCAT file, and then you're going to get a server.key file. So go ahead and save those. Um, so let's actually read the question here. Uh, I'll scroll way down. So it says, what user account was used to initiate the RDP connection? Um, so in the instructions documentation, it has you go through um, some steps. Um, so for instance, if you look at all the traffic here, um, we see that all this is um, TLS version 1.2, right? So that's all we see, right? It's encrypted. Can't see what's, uh, we can't really see what's going on inside those packets because it's encrypted. Um, but we do know RDP is over port 3389. So to do a filter for port 3389, you do TCP dot port space equal equal, another space 3389. And when you hit enter, um, you can see that these packets here, uh, we can see that they are all um, using port 3389, right? So um, we know that RDP is being used, it's just we can't, we just can't see any more details, right? So, but in order to see the details, well, let's decrypt uh, this traffic here. So let's go ahead and clear this filter. We're gonna go to file or edit. Uh, then we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, preferences. And then since it's TLS, we gotta decrypt. Let's go to protocols and then TLS, which is going to be down here. It's a long list, there we go. All right, and then go ahead and click edit. Um, so, we have to add an entry, so go ahead and click the plus. So the IP address is gonna be the address that we're trying to um, RDP to. And so you can see in the traffic up here, we have our source and our destination, and the destination port is 3389. So this destination is our RDP server or host. So that's gonna be 10.129.43.29. Uh, and then tab over port is gonna be 3389 because that's the traffic that we wanna see. Uh, protocol is TPKT. Um, you're gonna find that in the instructions here. It says protocol um, is TP TPKT or blank. So we're gonna put TPKT there. And let me just get my Wireshark back up, cool. Now here's the key file. So um, go ahead and click in there. And again, so here's the two files from the resources. We need this file, click open. So now we have our entries here. We got our IP address, port, protocol, and the key file. Go ahead and click OK, and click OK again. Now, um, you did see the screen kind of flash, so that's Wireshark refreshing because now it's using that key file to decrypt these um, sessions, these packets, right? Um, so now if we go up here and we filter by RDP, look at all the RDP stuff that we got. Uh, so let's go ahead and clear that filter. So we uh, decrypted that session. And now the question's asking us, um, let's go back down. So it says, what user account was used to initiate the RDP connection? Okay, well, let's go back. Um, so if we kind of look at this, right? So we have a sin, sin, act, act, cool, that's good stuff. Um, you can even come in here, um, you can follow TCP stream, you can see stuff. Um, but you'll also notice at the very top, you'll see Bucky up here. Um, so that's the answer. And you can also find it, um, and you can see it highlighted. Um, so if you go back, uh, let me go and follow that TCP stream. So when I highlighted that, right, it highlighted uh, the fourth packet in this row, right? Um, which is cool, right? You can click on all these lines and it'll show you the associated packet. 
Um, but if you didn't do that before, in the instructions and the documentation, it tells you to, well, let me clear this filter. Um, when you're going through, you'll see like these ignored unknown records. So they tell you to click on it. And when you go through the ASCII uh, text, you're gonna see Bucky here at the bottom. So there's a couple of ways you can get the answer there. Um, so you can do it that way or follow the TCP stream and look at the whole stream and see that Bucky is at the top as well. Um, so yeah, so the answer is Bucky and that is how you decrypt an RDP connection. Um, so that is it for the uh, intro to network traffic analysis uh, module. Um, I hope you guys found that video uh, really helpful and useful. It wasn't too bad, it was pretty easy. Um, if you did like the video, um, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like these videos, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.